Well, hey, folks, how y'all doing? And oh, man, welcome back in the land of grills, as we are. Remember this one? Remember this uh, easy code? I think that's 2003. Did a total restoration of this thing. I'll leave the link down below to that video. Uh, I spent a lot of time getting in. And then I got the Weber rotisserie. This is the original. This is the Weber rotisserie, folks. And I've been dying to use this for a long time. And uh, I've been hankering. I've just been hankering for some, some roast beef. And uh, I found a three and a half pound uh, ribeye, uh, not ribeye, uh, eye of round roast today at the grocery store. And uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna put that on the spit and give it a twirl on this Weber. I tell you, doesn't that look nice? If you would have seen the pictures, and uh, uh, folks, and you're, if you're wondering, if you're looking down there, yeah, I did a modification to the rotisserie. I wanted to get a temp probe in there, uh, but I didn't want to put it on the lid. I wanted to put it down closer to the meat. So we take a look. Yeah. So we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this fired up. Why don't you go take a look at that uh, eye of round roast and uh, reach back at the grill. All right, folks, there's our eye of round. Uh, <laughs> it's three and a half pounds. Uh, I did tie it up a little bit. I've injected it uh, with uh, some uh, little sodium beef broth, a little Montreal steak seasoning on the side. Now the monitor attempts and temps when it comes, it comes to doing this is you can screw this up, I can screw this up really easy by just taking it too high. So we're gonna use our meter probe. Remember that thing is totally wireless. We're gonna put it in there and as a rotisserie goes around and I'm gonna set this in the middle to go off right around 125. The carryover will probably take it up to 130, 135. I don't want any more done than that. And then obviously we're gonna slice it and hopefully make some uh, roast beef sandwiches out of it. Folks, uh, let's get around the grill. All right, before we go too far, I just want to get set up here. I think I called this grill a 2003. It's actually 1998, folks. Sorry, sorry about the easy code is 1998. I, I'm sure a lot of people correct me on that. Now, these, these, these grills back then had had the three holes, the, the three vents in the bottom. So we've got these two on this side shut. And then under the s and I got it open just about a third. And that's going to be, well, that's going to be low and slow, folks. And then I am going to use the dripping grill. You can see that uh, right there. And that's going to go down there, get that covered with some aluminum foil. And that'll make clean up a lot easier. So, uh, and you're wondering what kind of charcoal we're going to use? Well, folks, I'll tell you what. Hotter, longer, cleaner. Nothing more to be said. It's the best briquettes, in my opinion. All right, you got the roast on the spit. Uh, these are like the skewers that come with the, the Weber rotisserie, and they're just a little bit too big. So I have an, an, another one that's for my Q, Q1200. Believe, believe it or not, you can put a little rotisserie on there. Tom Horseman made YouTube. Uh, uh, it actually works pretty nicely. They had a whole chicken on there. Uh, but those are a little bit smaller, so that's what I'm using in there. We've got to press there tight. And then the meter, the, the meter is going to go probably in the thicker part here. So just got the, uh, the fire going in the, uh, in, in the in 1998 uh, Easy Code Weber. I uh, put a little water. I'm going to put a little warm water in that trough on the SNS. That's why I'm using it. And uh, next thing you know, let's see this when it's on. It should be interesting. All right, folks, I got it on. I got the meter all set up here. Uh, see our internal temp right now is... 44. I got, I got it set uh, for a target temp at 125. In fact, that was you go to the beef and then you t check uh, on uh, roast. It all I mean, like it says to take it off at 125. So you see our ambient temperature is still coming up. Uh, it's right around 115. Uh, that's uh, it's still estimating cook time because uh, that temp's got to come up. And um, I got top vent. You can see is about uh, three quarters open. That uh, remember there's three daisy wheels on the bottom. These two are closed. The one back there is about a third open. And let's take a quick look here. Yeah, smoke's are rolling. Got a couple chunks of hickory in there along with the B&B. &B. And uh, you can see the, the meter probe coming around. Uh, get this covered up here and uh, we'll give you a couple look-sees as we proceed. All right, folks, one hour into it. Let's take a look. See, let's see what our temp is reading down there. And we're see we're right around 250 there on that gauge. Put you down here on the tripod and uh, give you a look. See here. Let's see what the meter says. Um, right now it says we're a little over an hour. And it, it also it's saying we're reading 250 on the ambient. Uh, our target's 125, and our internal right now is 88. Let's take a quick look. See, shall we? Man, looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Charcoal's doing good. Wood's doing good. Nice color going on there. That's awesome. 
but we'll keep going here. I'm gonna close down the vents just a little bit more. I don't wanna get much over 250. So um, we're gonna close down those bottom vents. There's enough air leakage on this thing that you could probably do this whole thing with the bottom vents closed. But uh, give you a couple more looksies. Keeps, uh, tell you what, I'm getting hungry. All right, folks, we are uh, one hour and 41 minutes into it. You can see we're just about getting there, 116. I just got the five minute alarm from the meter there. Ambient temperature, we it did. I closed down the vents and went down below 200, so I had to open everything up. So it's good enough uh, for the rest of the cook. And uh, you know what? We're going to do a little check in here. Pull this off. Take a look. Oh, man. Look at that. Looking mighty nice. I'm going to wait till the meter gets around to this side. Here it comes. All right, so I've got my ink bird here, and we're just gonna take a temp internal into the same spot that we're more or less in here. Let's see what we get here. See, that's saying we're that's saying we're there already. So maybe we're running just a little bit. Yeah, that's saying we're almost. I got one twenty four there. And uh, this is saying 117. So I think I'm gonna err on the side of caution, pull this off and call it uh, call it 125. They're, they're both pretty close, but uh, I, I have a tendency to trust the, uh, the ink bird more since I haven't used the meter much. So give you a look-see uh, once we get it all covered up. All right, uh, the meter said it was ready and I've got everything uh, covered. Gonna let this sit for a while, cool down. Uh, it's gonna slice a lot better when it's cooled down a little bit, folks. Give you a look, see once we're slicing. All right, there's the slicer. Hey, don't pick on it. That was a wedding gift uh, wife and I got uh, 40, 35 years ago, so, and it still runs. Uh, there she is. We're gonna cut this in half, and then we'll put them on the slicer and make some thin sliced three. So let's, it's been resting for over an hour. Yeah, that's what you're looking for right there. That looks pretty nice. So we're gonna start slicing this up. Give you a look. See. All right, let's take a look at the final product here. Oh man, I'll tell you what, look at that. Pulls apart. I was expecting a little smoke ring there. I don't really get anything. But it is. You can definitely, there is some, oh man. <laughs> It's very good. Awesome. I've been, I've been hankering that. That's going to make some awesome sandwiches. Put in some baggies. Going to make awesome sandwiches for our next week or so. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Tom Horseman, YouTube. I did, I did the meter. Man. Because we're, we're, this is, you know, that's why we got this. So we could use the rotisserie. It worked. There's no doubt about it. And uh, this thing is the, uh, actually a transmitter. And I actually put this up in my garage. I'm, I stuck it on the top of the garage door. And, uh, I actually worked out there in this down in the basement and I had um, <clears throat> I, it picked up all the way down in the basement. So um, it did work. I, like I said, I got to work on the Wi-Fi and all that. But uh, the 1998 Weber is a classic with the uh, Weber rotisserie. Oh, man. And then uh, I have round roast beef. Awesome. Folks, hope you enjoyed this. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, appreciate you watching. Thank you.